Coronavirus numbers improve in our state, and we are currently at a positivity rate of 2.8%. The state health department reporting 580 new cases, and Connecticut has seen more than 270,000 total cases of the virus since the pandemic began 11 months ago. The lower numbers prompting the governor to loosen up some restrictions when it comes to events here in Connecticut. More people will be allowed inside certain event venues starting next month. News 12 Connecticut's Lauren Fabrizi has the details. I've been on the road my whole life and I bought this venue to kind of be able to create events for people and to have people come to what I've created. 16 months ago, Sheeran Nicholson took over the old Armstrong manufacturing property in Bridgeport and transformed it into the Knowlton, an event venue overlooking the Paquanic River. Our first event was booked for April of 2020. Um, March 13th of 2020 is when we shut our doors uh, due to COVID. And those doors have been shut ever since. The event isn't, isn't only a wedding. It's really just the tip of the iceberg about what the event industry is. With an entire industry crippled, Nicholson founded the Connecticut Event Industry Coalition. We spoke with him then back in May. The coalition now at around 800 businesses. But having clear communication from our side, really help the state understand what we needed. And yesterday, some welcomes news. We're going to increase the capacity up to 100 people or 50% capacity starting March 19th. And outdoors, which as you know, continues to be much safer, that's 200. If the governor didn't do this now, we would probably have lost the rest of 2021. While it's a major step forward, Nicholson says it's going to take some time to build client confidence again. But this sign, a reminder, his dream will come true. To see this venue full and to, to see my first event in here, I, I mean, I'm just probably get teary eyed just thinking about it. It's on the horizon of becoming a reality is, is overwhelming. In Bridgeport, Lauren Fabrizi, News 12, Connecticut.